Okay, let's try this again. So now that we've um, kind of taken some time, the last video, you couldn't really hear me. The, the audio was way too loud. And as a result, I, you, you couldn't tell that I was really struggling to not get super nauseous. So I tried to make that clear by the thumbnail and the title, but here we go. We're going to get back into this. I'm going to learn because I just realized that drifting in this is totally, and you really can grab it all over. That's nice. Okay. All right. Drifting in this is totally possible. Totally easy. Shouldn't even be a problem. You guys ready? Hi, let's do it. And go. Okay. All right, simple, simple. Simple enough, simple enough. Let's go! What? What? Oh god. Okay. Okay, then what? Then a break out? Okay, so I'm not quite sure how to how to get out of the drift once I'm in it. Like I know how to I know you accelerate and then straighten out. Okay, hold on. This'll this'll work. Okay, back to the loop, screw it, let's go. And then here we go. Yes! Okay. This is way more doable now, now that I've kind of gotten used to the idea of what's going on. But geez, Louise, it's still very, very unnerving. So, like I was, uh, you couldn't hear, hear me in the last video. I don't even know if you can hear me in this video. This is all just testing. But what I was saying in the last video is that um, VR sickness, you get you get kind of signs of it. So you'll notice you start getting real warm. That's the first sign. The second sign is that you, you get so warm that you start sweating. And then before you know it, you do start getting the queasy kind of headachiness. And then the last step is just full-on vomitousness. So before I get to there... I want to get some real good drifting in because I'm starting to get my little VRC legs under me and I feel like we can do this. Okay, so you can't really hand over hand because the wheel does have a like a set diameter, so that's good to know. But I can definitely grip it with one hand and have my other hand free for the e-brake. I love this. This is actually really cool. You can probably see from my uh, ring of my wrist that my hand's actually kind of going all over the place, but it's because I don't actually have a steering wheel to grab onto. So, oh, dude, let's go. Oh shit. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not perfect at it yet, but I'm getting it, and I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit of the, um, I'm getting warm. <laughs> so I'm in stage one of VR sickness, which means we got a little bit of time to kill. Let's go! Jeez, dude, even seeing the smoke come up on you, that's really nice. It's a nice little touch. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is possible, this is doable. Yeah, the nice slow Tokyo Drift style drift. Let's go. 
And you actually do have to like slow down to, to come to a nice stop from your drift, so it's good to know. Holy shit! Oh god! Okay. Whew. All right, you guys ready? Let's do one more real good ra good lap. Let's go. I got at least one more in me. I'm sorry these videos are so, sh so short, but like I said, the V-Speedway, it just is one of those ones that you really do want to kind of take your time on. You really get to know what you're doing. Shit, that's not how you do that. Okay. Oof. Okay, hold on. That's not how you do this at all. Hands off the wheel, let it go back to neutral. One hand free. We're doing the gas with this hand. It's very weird because the left and right triggers are still going, so it does feel like a mixture of real driving and video game controls. Let's fucking go, boys! Okay. Hell yeah, this is lit. How far are we going? We're going 156 kilometers an hour. Oh, fuck. oh my god, that didn't work. Okay. Okay, hold on. I, I'm starting to sweat, so I'm in stage two. Uh, before I get to headachey stage, I'm going to stop. So we're just going to do a little bit more driving, and then we're going to call it good. This is so much fun. I wish that it was a little easier on my stomach. Damn it. Okay. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so that's a good thing to break traction. It just takes a second to actually like figure out what the car is gonna do. Okay. Oh, that'll make you dizzy. Nice. Good drift out of it. Doing good. <laughs> Lost a lot of speed there. Oh my god. I'm gonna rest this arm for a second. for it to actually catch traction again, which takes a minute. Oh god! I, I tried to recorrect. I definitely tried to do some corrective steering. Oh, that reverse turn, though, is definitely rough on the on the old VR sea legs. I keep calling it that, because that's what it feels like. It feels like you're getting seasick, really. Come on, let go of the wheel. <laughs> this is the thing, is trying to remember what is gripping and what is not gripping because I'm using, like I said, my right and left triggers to... accelerate and, and slow down. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> it's hard to pull out of that. It's gonna be real hard for me to pull out of that, but that was great. <laughs> okay, last lap, then I gotta call it quits because I am definitely already starting to sweat, which is telling me that I am very soon going to be feeling very nauseous, and I don't want to feel nauseous today. I still gotta actually drive to deliver some gold ash. Okay, little dink, little dink, no biggie, no biggie. Here we 
go. That was sick. So you really do, you just gotta let off the gas. That's what it comes down to. Oh. Oh God. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna call that good for V Speedway again, because this game is really fun, but also, like I said, it, it is one that's gonna take some real getting used to. Every single time that the world turns like this and my head doesn't turn with it, it's it really does send this weird shock of like, but there's no inertia. You're not in a car, what's going on? Why aren't you? Why aren't you feeling inertia? And it's enough that it's really, really disorienting. Very, very cool. And ultimately, I'm really stoked to see. Let's see how long we can get this. Oh, almost, we almost did like a cool little Tokyo Drift move where we kept it all on the line. Um, but yeah, like I said, oh man, this is already starting to work me. This is the this is the end of my VRC. Like I might actually end up going until I'm a little nauseous, but. Just because this is so sick, I really want to get good enough at it that I can just drift. See, that was good. I didn't hit anything there. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm actually starting to get the hang of this. But, as I said, I'm also starting to feel like I'm sweating, which is telling me that I gotta stop. So I am, like you can see, I'm just getting into it. I'm actually just figuring out how to get the, the driving down. But also, my my brain and my eyeballs are telling me, like, dude, this is, this is your limit. You got to stop here. Let's go, though. Oh. Speedway, everybody. The new Vega Duo Sport. That's what I'm in right now. I'm in that, but it's silver because it looks like my Honda. I like it. It actually feels kind of like this. This really does kind of feel like my Honda, although the there would be a back seat with DoorDash food, or China would be here and there would be DoorDash in the back seat. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gummy Worm Jim. I'll see you guys later.